This movie sets out to explain how the concept of remediation can be used to describe the improvements made to the BBC News website. The examples used should give you some ideas of how you can improve the way you present your multimedia products via your ePortfolio. Remediation is a concept which can be used to describe how media is continuously being improved. TV was an improvement on the radio in that it utilised images. The telegraph was an improvement on the letter in that the message could be sent much more quickly. Email was an improvement on both the letter and the telegraph. The BBC have played an important role in informing the public about current news. The BBC's remit is that you can trust the BBC to provide high quality news, current affairs and factual programming that keeps you informed and supports debate about important issues and political developments in an engaging way. You can look to the BBC for help in using and understanding different kinds of media. The particular area which can apply to us is the specific way the BBC aims to make the public more media literate by enabling audiences to access, understand and interact with different types of media. The BBC News has been broadcast since 1922 via radio and has been televised since the 1950s. The news has been in a co continuous process of remediation. It remained on the radio and TV until 1997 when a BBC News website was created. Initially, only images and text were able to be used, but more recently, images, text, sound and video are now used to present the news to an increasingly large audience. The remediation of the BBC News has increased access to more and more users. An early example of this was the introduction of subtitles in the 1950s which gave access to deaf and the hard of hearing. This image shows the BBC News in November 1997, a very simple page set out with limited content using only text and images. The format at the time was quite standard, the image of the article writer and the text. By 1998, a year on from Lady Diana's funeral, the BBC was starting to experiment with providing other forms of media. On this page, audio and video is also available to download. This image looks at the use of images on the website and how they can be used to contextualise the content. The use of images also adds the immediacy of the content and allows the user to know what the content is, quite often without reading the introduction. In these examples, the user has the option of viewing the short video clip or reading an article to access the content. Previously, the content would have been accessed by watching the television news programme or reading the daily newspaper. If you miss the news or fail to buy a copy of the newspaper, you missed it. The remediation of the news has allowed us to access it at our convenience, when and where we like, in whatever format we prefer, via whatever device we choose to access it on. An additional advantage of the news on the web is that all archived stories are still available. Once the most recent news items are replaced, the old ones can still be found. The choice of media is another example of remediation. The user can choose how they access content, not by either reading the newspaper or sitting down watching the news or listening to the radio at a specific time, but from one screen they can access it via text, audio or video. In a time when reading, especially for young people, is on the decrease, it is important that access to the news is still available to those who prefer not to read. The BBC News website shows very good examples of immediacy and hypermediacy. Immediacy is where the content is there without having to click to access it. Hypermediacy is where the user has to click on a link to access it. There is obviously a balance the ed editor has to decide how much content is needed to introduce and contextualise the article, how much space is used in doing that, how many articles the editor wants to give immediate access to without the user searching for it, how many articles does the editor want to give hypermediate access to. Immediacy of the content reduces the space available for the amount of content, but hypermediacy of the content can increase the amount of content on a page. The use of text and position is really important when planning the layout of a page. In this example, emphasis of the text is carefully balanced so the content is cascaded for the user. Just as content is cascaded in news programmes, the top news stories coming first in a TV or radio news programme, 
or on the front page of a newspaper. Text has been carefully chosen so that it can be easily read on a computer screen. The BBC website also categorises the content so the user can easily access the different sections of content just as you can in a newspaper. For example, the sport is at the back. On the TV news, you have to wait for the end of the news to get the sport or local news. On the web, it, it can be accessed directly. Convergence of media has also allowed content to be accessed using a range of devices. Podcasts are able to be downloaded to music players and listened to or watched at the easiest convenience without an internet connection. The BBC seems very keen on making the most of every technology available and technology has made it very easy to make the content available in a range of different formats. This image shows the different forms of access they are providing. Access is a massive priority for the BBC. Programmes can be downloaded for those who maybe want to keep the footage for when internet access is not available. Automatic news emails can be set up so the user does not even need to visit the website. The emails can be tailored to news on a particular subject rather than all news updates. For instance, all news relating to Afghanistan could be sent via email. Access to the news via mobiles has been provided. This would be content which is either downloadable or content which can be accessed whilst connected to the internet. The news can be accessed using a low graphics option. This would be useful for those with slower internet connections or using portable devices where download times could be an issue. As internet connections have got faster and moved from dial-up to broadband, and with broadband getting faster and faster, the content has become richer, yet there are still those who do not have the advantage of the faster connection and who still need to be catered for and provided with a low graphics option. An example of this would be someone using their laptop whilst using their phone connection to access the internet via one of their phone signals, such as GPRS or 3G. For those who prefer only to access the news via audio or video, the BBC have placed this media content in one place so that those who prefer to access it this way can find all the content in one place. Throughout this movie, I have shown examples of how the BBC have ensured that the best possible access is provided to view its content using text, images, sound and video. The BBC has demonstrated examples of immediacy and hypermediacy to ensure the space available has been maximised for the user. Your challenge is to present your content to the assessor, not just by introducing and contextualising your work. You must use a range of multimedia techniques in order to enhance the user experience in order to maximise your marks. Thank you for watching.